This is Tom Mackerman with the World Socialist website. We're here at Brown University speaking with Gordon Wood. Gordon Wood is a professor emeritus of history and one of the leading scholars of the American Revolution. His book, uh, The Radicalism of the American Revolution, was a Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh, so thank you, Gordon, uh, for being with us. Uh, my, my first question is uh, simply, uh, what was your uh, initial reaction to uh, reading uh, Project 1619? Well, I, I got my Sunday paper a few months ago and was surprised to see this 1619 project in the Sunday magazine of the New York Times. I had no awareness that it was being done and I had no, uh, I was surprised as many other people were by, by the scope of this thing, especially uh, since it's going to become the basis for uh, high school education and, and has the authority of the New York Times behind it and yet could be so wrong in so many ways. Well, we've discussed the, the claim that the revolution was really about um, of founding a slavocracy and that the American Revolution was really a counter-revolution to defend slavery. I don't think people realize just what a cruel and brutal world existed, not just for slaves, but for lots of people who were uh, considered the mean sort or the lowly. Uh, and, and what it means to, to, to say that all men are created equal. The implications of that, that education is important. I mean, I think the important point to make about slavery is that it had existed for thousands of years without substantial criticism. Slavery existed in Africa, in the Middle East, in Asia, and of course in Latin America and North America. But it's the revolution that makes it a problem for the, for the world. And the first real anti-slave movement takes place in North America. So this is what's missed by these essays in, in the 1619 Project. And it's a massive movement of, against slavery that, that's unprecedented in the history of the world. So to somehow turn it around and make us into a slaveocracy, the, the slavery is confined to the South after uh, the revolution. And, and, and that puts them on the defensive. And they, for the first time, they have to defend the institution. Now, you also should understand that slavery is part of a whole hierarchy of dependencies. There's servitude. I mean, half the population that comes to the immigrants who come to the colonies in the 18th century, uh, not aside from the, the prisoners, who, the convicts who were sent here, but were, were, were bonded servants. Now, servitude is not slavery, but it is a form of dependency. You sign over your life to a master for five, seven years. You can't marry, you can't own property. You belong to that master, and he can sell you. But it's not lifetime, and it's not racially based. Uh, but, but it is a form of dependency. That is attacked, as all forms of servitude are attacked uh, and eliminated. In the North, slavery is, is abolished legally. Northerners come to realize that the South really wants to perpetuate slavery and extend it into the West. And the South comes to realize that the North is opposed to slavery, will never allow them, will not, not allow them to extend it. And from that moment on, I think the Civil War is inevitable. 